talking that 50 cent. I be talking 50 mil. Talking that Timmy Turner. Let it get killed. I got signed to call Ye Lil. He was never worth the deal. Designer always keep it real. Designer always keep it for my. The nigga, you know, came to me. I was, uh, what's the name? Sound like Future. Um, he uh, sounded like Future. I got clubs Panda, in Atlanta. Panda, Panda, Panda. Yeah, yeah, I got bras yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. I met with him before he did the deal with Kanye, though. Know? Had him at the office. I'm like, yo, so let me, yo, let me hear the other records you got. And he's like, I said, that's it. And the shit was so hot that he had it. I was struggling. And I was like, nah, I can't get that, that money. Let them give them whatever they're going to yeah, give them. Yeah. I know who I was you when I made one record. Plan, when I made one record, I didn't know how to make the next one. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So if you have the distraction of a fucking record, you move around, you start seeing all these bad You done been married three times this weekend. Yeah, uh, so if this is going to happen, you done got all this confused. You're like, what happened? What's your next record? I don't know. I think I like her. Uh-huh. I think I love her. Uh, no. You think the other shit that wasn't even in your thought process prior to that hit. Right. So where do you find the hit record? Oh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not on the same thought pattern that you was when you made the hit. I got brought to the letter. Yeah. I'm like, this is fine. I would ask the radio DJ. I had the Yo, what's good? It's your boy, DJ T Stomp, the voice of the suburbs, man. And today, designer took an L. Designer took an L, that's <laughs> that's all it is. He took an L, right? He went ahead and dissed 50 Cent in a freestyle. And we all know why he did this. You know, it was an opportunity at a resurgence, right? I remember a couple years ago, he dropped a song about Kanye, to be honest, for the same reason. Granted, he didn't really diss Kanye like that, but he rapped about Kanye for the attention, basically, right? Now, if you were around, we all know who Designer is. He had Panda back in like 2016, 17. Um, he, he, and then after that, he had Timmy Turner, which was kind of like a lukewarm sophomore hit. I don't know if it was really a hit, but that was like his closest thing to a second hit, right? And then we never really saw him again. I think he tried to blame label issues. You might argue he didn't have the talent. You know, the biggest complaint about him at the time was that he was just a clone of Future, right? He sounded like Future. He was rapping about having broads in Atlanta. Like he seemed like a Future clone. And yeah, that we basically never really heard from Designer again after that. Until recently, he had gotten caught uh, jerking off <laughs> on a plane in public. And uh, yeah, that was the last time we heard from him, which probably wasn't the best thing for his reputation. But there was an interview, 50 Cent went on million dollars worth of game with Gillian Wallow. And, you know, I can't, I, he brought up designer and he basically mentioned like, yo, I was interested in signing him at one, one point, but like, clearly I was talking to him about having a career and making his next song, things of that nature. And uh, he just didn't have his head on straight and he knew he couldn't really do anything with him. So 50 was like, hey man, let, I'll just let Kanye sign you. You're going to get whatever you want to get from them. But uh, <laughs> I ain't signing you. And he brought it up in the interview recently, right? Designer sees this, decides, you know what? I can diss him, get some clout, right? Now, dissing 50 Cent has never historically been the best idea. Once again, the only person that has really, you know, made it through a beef with 50 was Rick Ross. Everybody else has beef with 50 and it's just went horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I think before Ross, I think who else tried beefing with 50 recently? I think like French Montana had some issues with 50 Cent a few years ago. But yeah, you, you don't take the W beefing with 50, right? If if you want to do a clout beef, 50 is the last person to try to do a clout beef with. And designer's trying it. Now I will give designer credit because that freestyle he dropped was not that bad. It's not. You know, it had that bump in Detroit beat. It was, I'm gonna be real. If he, if he drops it, I'll check it out. I, I might, I might have, I might put that on the playlist, right? But the issue is designers doing that now, but designer has had the last six years to really grind and try to make pop in music. You know what I mean? It's like, he's got to get himself hot. He's got to get a hit himself. Uh, another time he had uh, caught some relevancy was um, when he had some issues with ESTG where he tried to get an ESTG feature and ESTG 
charged him like $75,000 or something like that, right? I don't know if you guys remember that, but that, that was a thing like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and yeah, outside of those, the, the jerking off and the ESTG feature, we have not heard about designer and we definitely haven't heard about him musically, right? Obviously this was just a bad move. You know, I think he, I don't know why he thinks dissing 50 is going to do anything for him. There's no sort of internet antic that is going to get him relevant again. It's like he's got to drop pop music. And until he does that, it, I mean, his career is only dying. If you're not growing, you're dying. That's like one of the main parts of business. I don't really know what else to say, man. Designer, designer, designer. Step it up. It's your boy DJ T-Stomp and I'm out. Peace.